Hello? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach a brother Keith, please. Yeah, this is Keith. Uh, Keith, how you doing? This is Lawrence over at Hill Funeral Home. Okay. We are the ones that have the, uh, uh doing the funeral for Sister Dolores, and that is, uh, your yeah. aunt, am I, am I understanding right? Yeah, that's my auntie. Okay, and as you know, the funeral is, uh, this coming Thursday. Yes, I'll be there Thursday. Uh, I'm giving you a call, uh, because, uh, it's been brought to my attention, uh, that you were going to be giving remarks for the funeral. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I wanted to call you because we're getting ready to print the programs for the funeral and let okay. you know that they have taken you off for the remarks uh, because they say that you're not going to be... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean taking me off? Well... What I'm saying is they say that you that you're not going to abide by the two three minute rule that they have for remarks, and they wanted they they've taken you off. And uh, uh, who 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 is they? Who who? Hold on, come out, come out. Who who? who what's the name again? Uh, Lawrence. I'm Lawrence. I'm the actual funeral director. Lawrence. And who who told you to take me off? Uh, okay. One of the okay. one of the family members, I'm assuming, is who who uh, made the adjustment. And uh, an adjustment that ain't no adjustment. That's that's changing the whole program. Who else is on the list? Uh, I mean, there's quite a few family members doing different things uh, uh, throughout the funeral. Okay. Uh, so how did you get to my name? Is what I'm trying to figure out. That they said that. Listen to me. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Brother Keith, listen to me. What they said is that you weren't going to abide by the time. You weren't going to do your remarks in three minutes or less. Listen, now, listen, listen, listen. My auntie raised me. She put me through college. And you think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up there on her funeral and be under two minutes? Well, it, 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 well listen, listen, listen Brother Keith. Brother Keith, listen to me. Normally when we have these funerals, uh, people who give remarks, we have them three minutes or less. Okay, okay. so I'll I tell, you, I tell you what, Mr. Lawrence, who else on the list? Is Sheila on the list? Uh, Is Sheila on the list? We have a Sheila. Yes, there's a Sheila that's singing. Take uh, her name off the list. Take her off the list and put me where she's supposed to be with my turn and her time. Is, is, is Bobby Jr. on there too? I uh, better not be on there. Bobby, now, yes, Bobby Jr. is giving remarks. Hell, that's a, what? That's, that's Dolores', oh. that's Miss Dolores' son, right? Yes, her son, the one that been locked up. He just got out of jail. Truth be told, he the one down there put her in the coffin. You need to take him off the list, too. Give me all that time, because I'll be, if, if but, I ain't going to say nothing, I'm going to Brother gonna... Keith, let me, let me, let me just say this to you. I cannot take Sheila or Bobby Jr. Off. I can't make any alterations to this program unless they say that what I can. That, sir, what you mean? Can... You already, you already taking, you already taking people name off. You taking my name off. Wait, but the, but they, they 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 orchestrated this though. Who, who the f is they? Who is they? They finna have a mother problem. They try to take me off my auntie program. Who is they? Sir. I, I'm not going to get into a family matter, but until they say that you, you can be on. You're already in a family matter. Sir, I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to have the, the, this, this turn out to be bad. And we want to have a great home going for Sister Dolores. Okay. You're damn right. And, and if I don't get to say nothing, I guarantee you, I guarantee you it's going to be a two for one in there. Somebody else going to get, get their in the cover too. I guarantee you that. If I don't get to say nothing at my auntie's funeral, my auntie didn't. Pay for my damn college. I didn't put six thousand dollars in, in the funeral. I bet you. I tell you this. I tell you this, Mr. Lawrence. I bet you whether I'm on the program or I'm not. I bet you. I say what the f I want to. I bet you that much. You tell they that. I didn't. My auntie didn't put me through college. I didn't put money on the funeral. I call around and see who ain't putting no money on the funeral. Tell them they can't be on the program, man. Uh, Keith, they, they when they decide 
who who who's on it. If they change the the format, then I will call you back. Who who the f- is they? That's what I'm trying to get get you to understand. Who is they? Can I can I tell you something? And and I don't want you to get too irate. Okay. okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I just want to say this. Keep with. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just yeah. got pranked. You just got pranked by your cousin Bobby Junior. <laughs> you bull. <laughs> I'm Bobby Junior up. I that. I'm kicking Bobby. I know that. that, that I mean, my blood pressure is all up. I ain't got time to be playing, man. Taking me on the damn program. <laughs> Bobby, I know that. Oh, Bobby, man, Bobby, Bobby said y'all grew up like brothers, man, and, and you was that, you was basically another son of Mr. Lord. That's right. Yes, yes, I was, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello. Hey, I'm trying to reach Manny. Is this Manny? No, nah, this ain't Manny, man. This is Sweat. Who's this, man? Hey, this Raheem, man. Uh, wow, this Sweat. Okay. Hey, uh, Mr. Keith, you, uh, we, we got we got people down here. You're supposed to be here at the record store, man, right here in Harlem, and, and we got people wrapped around the building. You're supposed to be here signing these CDs, man, but it's been over an hour. These people have been standing here waiting on y'all. Yo, man, I don't know nothing about no record store, and, uh, and number two, I don't know nothing about doing no signing, man. Who set this up, man? I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, the name I was given was Manny. Who was who was Manny? Manny's my road manager, but he don't set things up, man. He's a road manager. He's not my manager. He just handled my stuff on the road, but I was never told I was supposed to be nowhere to do anything, man. I mean, normally when somebody tell me, me and them have an understanding that I, I, I book what I'm supposed to do, so I don't know nothing about this, my brother. Okay, well, you know, we got to get this taken care of. We got people wrapped around the bill, and we got a table here laid out. We got uh, pens and everything for you to sign these CDs, man. We got over 100 people outside uh, the store. My brother, I, I, nobody told me about no no signings or no nothing, man. I mean... I don't know nothing about no signing, for real. Okay, well, are you hearing what I'm saying to you, man? We got people outside the building waiting for you to arrive to sign some CDs. Now, what am I supposed to tell these people? Yo, I don't know what you're supposed to tell them, man. I mean, you know, I'm, and, and it's kind of like you're raising your voice, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't I, first of all, I don't know even know who you are calling me like this. I told you, man, I didn't set nothing up, man. And, you know, I mean, I don't even know who gave you my number. You know what I'm saying? For, I mean, I, I don't handle it. All this information was on the fax machine. I got this as a contact number. Manny is the person. I'm supposed to be talking to, and Mr. Sweat was supposed to arrive here at 12 noon. Now here it is. It's it's 1 15, 1 20, man, and you ain't here. And we got people wrapped around the building. We've been advertising this for the last two weeks. I mean, the album dropped My today. Brother, I don't think you. I mean, no disrespect to you, but I don't think you hear me, man. I I, I don't know nothing about a signing. If I knew about a signing or I knew I had a signing session, I wouldn't have the people sitting around or standing around like that. That's not what I do. But no one informed me that nothing like this was going down today. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Okay, but look, man. Now that you realize people are here waiting, what are you gonna do? What am I supposed to tell them? Man, there's no way in the world I can get down there and do a signing at this time, late time, right now, man. I mean, you man, know. But you need to get your bag and that. I'm, you, mean, you need you need to get, try to try to get yourself down here, well, man. Well, first of all, and, first and, of all, and, I mean, you know, I, what did you just say? I, I think you just called me on my name or something, man. What did you just say to me, man? No, no, no. I'm saying I, I'm saying you need to try and come on down and sign sign these CDs for these people, man. man. These people are here. They are waiting in line. They've been waiting over an hour on you. Now this this not gonna man, look good. This the date. I mean, we got your we got your CD almost on every shelf, dude, man. That, I, I'm I'm feeling you, and I, I'm I understand now. I understand what you're saying to me, but there's no way. I can get down there, man. We, you just gonna have to reschedule this, or we gonna have to reschedule this. I apologize for the, you know, misunderstanding. But bottom line is, I knew nothing about this. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, Mr. Anderson. He's, this is Mr. Sweat. He's saying he don't know anything about being here. I'm telling him we got people all wrapped all around the building. He don't care. Yo, yo, dude. I didn't say I didn't he, care. I said there's nothing I could do. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, man. Don't put words in my mouth, my brother. What do you want me to Will do? You re- all you gotta do is reschedule it for another time, I, man. That's what you do. I, hold on, man. I'm talking to my boss. I'm trying to hold figure out how to up, get. We got up, people finna get mad, man, because you're not hold here. Up, hold okay. Up, hold up. You, now whoever Manny, Manny needs his 
Whoop, man. He does. Yo, I don't, Say I what? I don't know nothing about that, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. All I know is that nobody told me about that. You know, I'll call Manny, and I ask who said it up, because I don't do things unless I know where, where it's coming from. There ain't no way you can get your you can get yourself hold down up, hold here. Up. You keep, first of all, man, you don't talk to me like I'm your child, man. You keep saying there's no way I can get my, you know, back up with, on what you're saying, dude. Hey, man, hey, man we're having a problem. This is supposed to be one of the biggest days of our record store. We got your CD on every shelf, and you, you're just so calm and collect, like it's not a problem no, with you. No, what I'm supposed to do, man, when I didn't know nothing about it, I understand it's a problem. It's a problem because it made me look like I'm a no-show. But, dude, I'm telling you again, I knew nothing about this, man. Hold on, hold on one second. Take all his damn CDs off the shelf. Every last yo, dude, one of them. Yo, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You losing your darn mind right now, man. I'm not trying to disrespect you, dude, but you really losing your mind right now. You doing something you ain't got no business, though, man. I said reschedule the situation, man. You know, tomorrow, the day after How are we rescheduling when the album drops hey, today, yo, man? Okay, well, today. well, there's nothing I could do about this, dude. Nothing. Who you? Wait, wait. Hold, sound like you raising your voice at me. I'm raising my voice, man, because you now you now you disrespect me. You don't call my phone going off like 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 I'm somebody's child, like I'm your child, dude. I mean, you don't talk to me like that, man. Come so, on. So you can't stop what you're doing and bring your butt down here to the record store. No, I so can't. So we think I people can't won't stop be what I'm doing. No, 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 no. I can't stop what I'm doing, man. So what you're doing right now that's so important you can't come. Man, it ain't none of your business what I'm doing right now, dude. I'm saying I know I knew nothing about this, man. So I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you like 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 I gotta explain to you why I can't I gotta stop what I'm doing to come down there. I knew nothing about it. It's not my fault, dude. You need to take this up with somebody who scheduled this because I didn't schedule it. There's a right and a wrong way to look a right and a wrong way to do somebody, Mr. Sweat. Oh man, come on now, you reciting my, my songs, man. Okay. Come on, man. Okay, now okay, no problem. Songs. I'm just now gonna go boy. out here and tell everybody in the line, Mr. Sweat don't want to come, man. okay? And I'm taking all of the man. damn CDs man. off the shelf because you don't want to stand up and be the celebrity that you're supposed to be. Man, okay, now you know what, man? You do what you got to do, man. At this point, you do what you got to do, man. But the, you, yo, who am I talking to anyway? This man? Raheem, man. Raheem. Raheem. I work here okay. at the store. Okay, well, I'll see you, Raheem. You go ahead and do what you get me to do, and I'll come and see you, dude. What, 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 what you mean you going to see me? What that means? I'll see you. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. That's what it means. I'll see you. Okay, because cause the bottom line is, man, Tommy said you was going to come. He the one said you was going to come sign. Tommy who? Now you, Raheem, Tommy, who the, who the hell is the Tommy? Tommy, man. Nephew Tommy <laughs> from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Swear I got your <laughs> Boy, man, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all tripping, boy, for real. <laughs> man, you, you, you don't even understand what you give me makes me do, dude. <laughs> you crazy, boy. I mean, you know what I mean? Y'all don't have anything better to do than call me and mess with me, man. <laughs> I knew the album was dropping, man. I said, I'm getting it today. You, you man, good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Boy, you crazy, boy. Oh, man, let me get off this phone, man. Y'all do what you do. Boy, you don't even understand. Oh, man. sweat, man. I had to get you, dog. Look here, you know, I know you got your show, but you got to tell me what is the baddest radio show in the morning. The Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Get off my phone, nephew time. Hello? Man, I speak to This Let me tell you something to you. My name is Wayne. You did my auntie's hair yesterday, and now... I don't know what you did. I don't know what kind of glue you'd use with weaves uh, or whatever, but my auntie had him fell out in church today. Well, doing well I, don't, I don't even use glue, because I don't even know why you coming at me on the side tip anyway about your auntie. My Who auntie the is your auntie? My auntie is Deborah, and I have fell out. I don't out. know no Deborah. I don't do no Deborah hair. You talking about I use glue? I don't use glue. I've been sewing that hair since, since 1982. You come coming at me with some glue. I don't do no glue. Hold, who you think you tripping with? Look, let me I'm tell you. With you. you, you coming at me on some side I'm on some dapper, I don't even know no dapper. Look, let me say this to you. All I'm what saying is. You got to say, say what you got to say, because I'm, I'm serious about my hair weed. You coming at me with some glue. It's too hot for some glue. That be that melted on the side of your head. Well, that's what happened, and I have fell off in service, and all the church members is sitting there laughing at her. Well, she shouldn't have been. Maybe she's trying to get the devil out of her, because she ain't had no business shouting at I'm hard anyway, but I don't with no glue. You ain't finna sit here and talk about my Amy and her Jesus. Don't you talk about how she shot. Amy, I don't even know this lady. I don't Miss even know that. The, you talking about glue? I don't do glue. They call her Miss Deborah. I don't do no glue. 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 I don't do no
I don't know no Miss Deborah. She just got her hair done from you yesterday. How you gonna sit here and act like you ain't cut it yesterday? I ain't cut it, Karen. You just said blue. Tell Deborah to call me. That. Tell her to be a real woman and call me and tell me the mistake I done made. I'm because I don't remember no Deborah and I ain't used no glue. I'm finna tell everybody in Atlanta, Georgia not to come to your house. Just wait, wait a minute. Wait one minute. You wait one minute. That's my livelihood you with. Now I don't need you. Who the is this? Who are you? My name is Wayne. Yeah, well, I don't know no Wayne. Look here, Wayne. I know you I, don't I, know I, Wayne, but you you I'm know. Tell you, I got a brother named Big J and Leroy. Bring your ass, Wayne. Bring your ass. Bring your ass, Wayne. Look, look, let me tell you something. I don't want no problem, but I will throw these hands if I got to. What? Big J and I'm throw them hands on. Look here. Look here. I ain't got time to tell your auntie, whoever the made the mistake, it wasn't me. Now look, you done got me out here on Good Sunday. I just came from church. It's hot as hell. And you telling me about some glue? You ain't got no, you ain't got to do today, do you? You I ain't got nothing to do. I got to find out why my auntie half falling out in church. Well, it ain't me, so call somebody else in Atlanta. Because, hey, I'm the I am the been the since 82. But, but well, you ain't, you you must not be in right now if you got people half falling out in church and glue falling all off on the pews. Don't go, hey, yo, auntie probably glued her own in. That's probably why it fell out. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm the hottest stylist in Atlanta. So I don't know who no that, but she ain't nobody. If I if hey, I ain't do a hat. I don't fuck up hat. You can call in and everybody in Atlanta. They'll tell you the same thing. Look. All I'm saying is, you done messed up my auntie hair. I want to get it rectified. I need you, first of all, to call and apologize to her. Apologize? Uh, Have you done lost your, you been drinking on some Jesus juice with your auntie? That's why her hair fell out. You and Michael Jackson and your auntie, Deborah Cece or whatever her name is. Look, let me tell you, first of all, you go, you go respect my auntie. Okay, uh, whatever you say her name is, I f*** it up. I want you to redo my auntie hair for free and give her her money back from the first time she paid you. I don't know who this, hold, hold on. I don't know who this, I, who, you, I don't know who you are. I'm Wayne. Why are you coming in? Wayne, look here, Wayne. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hang up in your face. No, hold up. I'm Deborah <laughs> nephew, Wayne. Nah, my ain't 52 years old. Now, if you ain't going to respect your elders, how you expect to be blessed? You say you just went to church this morning. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You calling me on Sunday with some <laughs> got me cussing like this. See, now I got to go back in and have a conference with my pastor behind some <laughs> I got one more thing I need to say to you before I get off the phone. What, 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 say what the you gotta say? Cause you wasted my minutes. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just oh. got pranked from your girlfriend. Oh, Lord. I was about to have my brother come whoop your. That got me. That got me, nephew. What's up, man? <laughs> they tell, your, your girl told me, she said, trust me, going off the oh, first she 12 seconds. Oh, it's she know. <laughs> <laughs> she know what it is, nephew, Tammy. Uh, Tammy. Hey, hey, baby, let me ask you. You don't do no, uh, you don't do no glue? Uh, no, I don't <laughs> no glue. I don't, I don't, they, hey, I can tell you, I don't no glue. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot for glue. It's too hot for the glue. <laughs> All right, baby. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody half fell out of church that you still. They say you the bomb down there, so I just wanted to call and make sure so I <laughs> prank my girl. She the one. I'm gonna up on site. <laughs> on site. <laughs> All right, baby. Answer one thing for me. What is the baddest? I mean, the baddest radio show in the world. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> 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 Hello? Hello, uh, is, is this apartment 18C? Yeah, this this 18C. Hey, man, my name Virgil. Uh, who, who, who is this right here? Who is, who is this? You speaking to Marcus? What's going on? Okay, Marcus, let me ask you something, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all done messed up. Y'all, y'all done got Apollo arrested last night on some trumped up charges, man. Hold on, I'm lost here. What, what, what is this you talking about? You got Apollo arrested last night on some trumped up charges. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you sure you got the right number, I man? I got this the right number, man. Y'all, you, you and you and you and eighteen C, ain't you? Yeah, okay. This eighteen C. Now tell me, now, now what is this about Apollo? Who is Apollo? I don't, I don't know what you're talking you, about. You got, y'all got Apollo arrested last night on some trumped up charges. 
You know, now he downtown, and 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 and, and evidently somebody pressing charges. So now I got to figure out how we gonna. How I'm gonna get Apollo out of jail. Hold on, hold on, this don't make no sense. You right call here, man. It, I need Paul to go downtown hey, and go on and drop the charges hold on, hold on. so Apollo can come home. Pump the brakes, boss. Listen to what you're saying now. You calling me about somebody that I don't even know. I ain't even. I don't know no Apollo. You know, I, I, I apologize for your homeboy and 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 their thing that's going down. But I, I don't know nobody named Apollo. I really don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. So, okay, you know. so y'all 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 ain't called the police last night. Ain't nobody called no police. You you ain't called. You gonna sit here and lie to me and tell me you ain't called no police last night? L- let's take this back. Now now, what's your name, man? My, my name is Virgil. And now, now, how you come about getting my number? Who, Don't who worry about my... how I got your number. I got it. You the one. I know you the one got Apollo arrested on these trumped up charges. Don't worry. Now, hold on. How you know? Where is? How you know where I live? Cause I live above you. I live in 19C. 19C. So, are you the one that got the loud barking dog all hours That's of the night? Apollo. My dog is Apollo. My God. Apollo, man, you got me thinking that you talking about some human being. You sitting here calling me about some animal, some dog. Listen, 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 man, man, first of all. No, evidently you pressing charge. Hey, listen, you going down there to get my dog out of jail, man. Evidently you need to listen to what you talking about, man. You calling me about some animal? Listen, we call the front desk people about disturbance. Every time we look around, we hear your dog. So you might need to take it over with whoever that's in charge with the apartment complex, because that's who we inform about your loud dog. Now, you know, you calling me, how you got my number, I don't know. But you need to check this out and, and, and talk with the people that's in charge of the apartment complex. I'm taking it up with the person that could, that filed a complaint and got my dog arrested last night. Now, my dog down there on some Trump really? charges. Really? Man. Really? They ain't even read, they really? Ain't even read Apollo his rights or nothing like that. Really? You really talking? Talk, listen listen to what you're saying, man. I'm going out the house, man. And, and, and it's all this cause of you. Man, I think you need to, uh, you you need some counseling or something, boss, because you talking about a dog. How can a dog get arrested? You need to. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Listen, I, I I don't think we got anything else to talk about, man. Because yeah, uh, we got we got to talk about Apollo, man, and how how you gonna go down there and get him out of jail, and you need to have him be here back this, by the this, this evening. I I ain't finna go through this without my dog being here. This man sounds crazy. Baby, this man calling me about a dog being arrested. This is the dog that be barking. It's Apollo, it's- man. Apollo is a, is, a, is a family member. And you done got him arrested, man. For, for what? Hey, man, Why man, would you do something like that? Man, how about this? You and that dog. Don't be calling me no more talking to me about some dog that I ain't got no control over. You need to take this up with the police or whoever call. Ain't nobody call no police. Did you just say Apollo? Man, listen. Did you just say that? You heard what I said. Okay, okay. Hey, man, I'm I'm not trying to argue. Okay, look, look. Let's let's just, let's just do this here. Is it any way you could just come down there with me this evening and drop the charge? Come down well. Down come to the police station, man. Well, Apollo, where dog? Look, 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 dog. Look. He down. Listen, listen. Okay, I'm not trying to holler. He down there on some trumped up charge. You you can't even pick him out in a lineup if you want. Like, Apollo clean. I can't he believe it. He got this. no prior convictions, man. I can't believe. Man. I can't Nothing believe. like that. Uh, uh, listen, man. Do you really hear what you're saying? Now, I know they say man, uh, uh, best friend is a dog, but you taking this a little bit too far. Now, you need to really listen to what you're talking about. You need to handle all this, what you got a problem with, with the folks at the front desk and the police, if they do got your dog. This really don't make any sense right now to me. Now, I, I apologize once again about your dog, but uh, I think we have our uh, business finished right now. Hey, man, because let I, me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you this right here, okay? Uh, uh, Marcus, right? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you this here. You try to testify against him. Try to testify against against Apollo and see what happens. What in the world are you telling you? Listen, man, I'm going to tell you like this. F- you, f- Apollo, f- anything else that you got to say about this situation right here. You found my number. You found. You know where I live. You just come see me. You, 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 you really want that? I'm about to be through with this phone call, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. Let me say this right here. I'm gonna say this right here to you. You try to you try you try to get on the stand and testify against Apollo, and I promise you, dog, you're gonna have some problems on your hands. You hear me? Listen, you really talking some nonsense right now. Do you really hear what you saying to me? Apollo is a dog. I know he's a dog. He my dog. You know what? I tell you what. Hey man, how that uh how that pretty little wife of yours doing? The one that be at home while you going to work all day. What the f- 
you just say to me? How is that pretty little wife of yours that be gone, that be at home when you gone? You. Who, who, what's, your, what's your name? Who I already this? told you my name first. Check this. 19C, where you at, right? Please that's believe where I'm that's, at. Well, please believe that's where we about to meet right now. Because now the man is going to come up here talking to me about my wife. So if it's any other dog you got up in the place, please believe that dog is going to get up right along with your Okay. Well, I got, I, got, I, got, I got one more thing you told you. Man, you one thing you need to know for me, you, you ain't got to say to me because you ain't took this a little too far around with me and a dog. Now you trying to talk about what's going on in my household and my wife? Please believe 19C is where you about to find okay, me. Okay, well, l l l l l let me tell you who else up here in 19C that's waiting on you. All of them about to get up. Whoever is all up in 19C. Okay, well, well, let me tell you who else in here. You want to know who else in here? Man. I'm finna tell you this here, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show is up in here in 19. Say! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> nephew. <laughs> this is nephew Tommy. <laughs> God. Man, you got me cussing, man. My mama be listening to this station. Your neighbor Gerald got Gerald me to thank you. you about your neighbor downstairs. Man. Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach uh, Lester Tucker. This is Lester Tucker. All right, Mr. Tucker, how you doing? This is uh, Curtis Watkins, Soul Brother Number 9. I'm with the BP of A. and uh, Who? The BP of A, Black People of America. What the? Okay. Well, listen, we, uh, we're doing a survey today. We're calling uh, a lot of white households, and we're trying to figure out, uh -huh. have y'all been using the N-word in your house? And if you have, the how many times are you using the N-word on a daily basis in your house? The N-word? What? What kind of survey is that? I don't use the N-word in my house. I got youngins. We don't do that around my house. Have you been using the N-word at your job? Oh, hell no. I, what kind of survey is this? Oh, no, back the hell up. What did you just say? You got what at your job? I got black. What the Look, what business is this of yours if I use the N-word? I pay the rent in this trailer. The organization. I say the N-word if I want to say the N-word. Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, brother. Now, look. No, you wait a minute. You call me. Hey, hey, let me explain something to you, sir. We're do all, we're doing, my all we're doing is a survey. Now, I will tell you this. We do have surveillances at your place, and we will be trying to figure out if you are. Surveillance my trailer? We, we will be dictating. Uh, uh, we will be trying to figure out if you're you, using the N-word. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. If I want to say the N-word, I'll say the N-word. I don't want to say it. If I find some surveillance in my trailer, I will come and kick your black people's association. This, you hear me? You this, know who you with? Uh, this you Lester Tucker, ain't you? You got right. I'm Lester Tucker. Well, I'm Why with, you want to know how many times I say, say the N word? We're trying to get a survey on it, sir. That's what we're trying survey to survey my. You just trying to start some. I'm with. I'm Curtis Walking with Black People of America. I don't we, give a hell. I don't give a who you are, Curtis Walking. Sir, why are you calling my house? Sir, I'm just here to ask: Have you been using it, and have you been using it at your job? What did I tell you? I don't use it in my house because I got kids. I don't use it at the job because I got black people that work for me. Okay, I don't want to run them off by calling them names. Okay, well, when you go down to the club by yourself, are you guys in there using it? Now, come on now, be honest with me. Are you guys in there using it? Man, let me tell you something. I don't know what the f about. But it sounds me like you said, look, I got black neighbors, all right? I ain't, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Okay, well, let me ask you this. When you just, when it's just you and them, them good old boys, when it's just y'all, are you using that N-word? Well, let me ask you this. When it's just you and your, and your hoodlum little buddies, do you, I mean, what the, what the hell do you call white people? You, you use the word? I have not used the word, sir. Oh, why, did, why you use I, I want to get like I told you. I don't know who the hell you are, sir. I'm doing the, I'm doing this. the survey here. I'm, you I don't survey, survey my. All right. Why well, will white people of America? How about that? See, we can't have our own association. Oh hell no! You calling me? Uh, calling me asking questions? Okay. Uh, I just got one more thing to tell you. Are you familiar with Williams? Yeah, he works for me. Well, this nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by. Williams. <laughs> you all right, man? You got kind of riled up, man. Well, man, you wake up, you 
wait till I see that brother. He told me. He said. He said this white guy is gonna go off. He said, trust me. He does not use the N word, but just act like he's been using it, and he's gonna go to hell off. <laughs> you wait till I see that man. That some <laughs> shows me money anyway. <laughs> hell, you wait till. I see <laughs> All right, Lester, calm down. Hey, I got to ask you, man, what's the baddest radio show in the land? Let me tell you, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Yo. Oh, uh, yeah, who's this? Who is this? This is attorney David. David who? Uh-huh. All right, this is Anthony. Anthony, I was giving you a call. You used to work at the uh, uh, Senior Center, am I right? Yes. Okay, we got a bit of a problem here. Uh, are you familiar with Miss? F- yes. Yes. Older lady that that, that uh, a Caucasian lady that's here at the center. Yes. Okay, now we got a problem. I know you retired in uh, in December, but uh, there's cleaning out her room, cleaning up her room. There's been some uh, men's underwear found here, and she's saying that it's yours. Well, then you got a. F- because I don't know where the lady live at. No, here here at the center, sir. They're claiming well, that... Well, then, at the center, you find the ladies and men underwear said it was mine or whoever and whatever and whatever. Now, I don't waste my time with that If you're going to call somebody, call somebody, get it straight now. But don't waste my time with you. Have a nice day. Wait just a minute, sir. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to get officials to come down there. Hello? Yes, sir, Mister. This, 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 listen, I don't want. I want. I want to try to do this without your wife finding out. But we need. I got a few questions I need to ask. You tell your wife to pump it. You man, don't mess with me. You are wasting my time. Come on, <laughs> call it back, dog. <laughs> hey, this is Doris. Please enjoy the music until I answer your call. Oh, that's right. Hello? Doris, it's time. Yes. Boy, he didn't cuss <laughs> us out, but he keep hanging up. So uh-huh. so I need I need you to help me out. I want you to uh, call from your phone uh-huh. and put us on three-way and say, hey, you need to talk to these people. Okay. Hello? Hello? This is Doris. Tony's right here. Um, I told him about the situation with... So I just want him to clear it up so you can stop calling him, okay? Yes, I, 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 this is a, attorney David. Is he available? I can speak with him? Sure. Hold on a second. Attorney David. Hey, Hello. Hello, Mr. Uh, Tony, Anthony? Yeah. Could you possibly tell me what's going on, uh, why we would find your, your underwear in Miss F***'s, uh, in her room? <laughs> How you know it wasn't your underwear? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir? I say hi, no, it ain't your underwear. Sir, I don't. I didn't work here. The young, the lady is saying that it's actually your underwear that's been in her room here at the retirement home. Well, man, you got the wrong one. You know, this is a bad time to be messing with me. And where is you at anyway? Sir, I'm down here at my office right now. Well, where your office at? Do you need to come and see me? Yeah, I need to come see you. Where your office at? What seems to be the situation? Because I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a hostile. Uh, you're sounding very hostile right now, sir. Yeah, well, I'm a hostile individual. Okay. You well, calling me something about some old, old lady? You go call me about somebody. Call me something about one of you. Say yo, yeah. Sir, you're gonna watch your tone and you're gonna talk to me like you got some man, sense. Man, I ain't got to watch nothing. I'm an old man. I ain't got to do but die. I don't even pay taxes. What you want? Uh, you want to do something? You go ahead and only do it. But don't be calling my number no more. Okay. Well, I want to tell you this, sir. Yes. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You have been prank phone call by your girl that's standing right there with you, Doris. You know what? I would have kicked both of y'all. <laughs> Why you do that, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> huh? Man. Man, you know, this ain't no good time for me, man. My- I don't have time, man. You messing with me. Where you at, man? Man, I'm 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 in the studio. I'm in New York City, man. Oh, New York. Well you get a chance when you go on back to Philly, you stop through Trenton. <laughs> let me let me, let me ask you for real. <laughs> hey, put your picture on TV so I see know what you look like next time I see you. <laughs> oh, oh man. You got you got it, but you must all know this woman. You got the wrong one. You. <laughs> <laughs> 
You should have had somebody else in the name. This ain't going to work. This is a woman, man. And I know she couldn't get that off of my back because she's crazy as hell. <laughs> All right, but I got something for Miss Doris. <laughs> hey, I got to ask you one more thing, Mr. Anthony. What is the baddest radio show in the land, man? Man, you know what it is. See you Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Karen. This is Karen. Karen, uh, hey, listen, my name is Mark. Are you married to Jason? Yes. Okay, all right, I got the right person. Listen, I follow my wife today. Uh -huh. And I, right now, I'm at a park, and my wife is holding hands uh, with your husband, Jason. So okay, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will you see my husband at the park with, with your wife? How long have you been following them? Oh, wait, 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 hold up. She just kissed him. She just kissed who? She just, my wife just kissed your husband. What do you say your, your, wife, your wife's name is again? My wife's name is Veronica. Veronica. Okay, uh, what park they at? Uh, they at Langley Park. I'm Langley at Langley park. park right now. I'm under, I'm about 200 yards away from them, and I'm looking at. She just kissed him again. I cannot believe this, man. I know <laughs> well. You're not telling me that your your wife is kissing my fucking <laughs> husband. Uh, what, well, how did you get my number? Let's hold up. Back this <laughs> up. How did you get my number? And who are you? Like I say, my name is Mark. Uh, a buddy of mine named Fitz. Fitzgerald. Fitz knows. He knows Jason. I don't know and, no uh, Fitzgerald. I don't want to know how you get my number. Fitz gave me your... Fitz, Fitz, Fitz told me he knew Jason in some kind of way got me your phone number. I don't even know who he got your number from. All I know is your husband is kissing my wife right now. That's what I know. Okay, you just sitting there watching? Give me the number. We can change this right now. You sitting there watching on some Spectre Gadget. I'll go and bust all this because I don't play that. Because he said he had to work this morning, some little overtime <laughs> don't have time. Then who does that in the <laughs> park with some <laughs> body? It's too <laughs> cold to be in the park anyway. You can't see no ducks. Give me, give me the address of this Langley Park. Okay, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. They getting a blanket out the car. Now, who does that? <laughs> I know <laughs> well. He ain't no romantic type of guy. He never take me to no <laughs> park. But they getting a blanket out the car and going deeper into the park. I cannot believe this. They getting the blanket. Well, what? No, she. I know she. Now nah, I'm looking at. Give me wine. the park address. They got you, wine and wine glasses. And excuse me, excuse me. Mark, Mark, Mark. Give me the address of the park. You want some white boy stop? I'm trying to go. I'll bust that up. I don't have time for that calling me. I'll start it and watching your wife. I'm not gonna watch. And I'm gonna hand him his ass. Okay, let's stop this right now. Take your over there to the park and give him the phone. I don't have time for this. You sitting up there watching your wife with my you calling me. What kind of are you? I'm, you okay? I'm, 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 say what? You supposed to be up there getting on that because if I was there, I'd be the slap that and I've been handing him his cap. Go hand him the phone. Take up there and hand him the phone. What the hell are you Look, calling I'm me trying, for? I'm trying to see what else they going to do. That's what you I'm trying to do. Thing. You done seen enough. All that porn that be over there doing, putting out a guy. What you want? Wait to see him. Take care of over to hand him the phone. I'm no uh, Jason ain't in no park for no I'm got my at home. I am on our third child pregnant with a baby. But I don't give a I'll go up and whoop his while I'm pregnant. I know well Jason ain't in no park for no Go hand him the phone. You Look, I wanna see oh, let me let me hold on, let me step out the truck. Hold on. They drinking wine right now. I, I don't give a about that. Go hand him the phone. Walk over and hand him the phone. I don't okay, know what okay. you do with yours. I don't play about mine. Oh, man, they kiss it. Mark, Mark, Mark. I don't know who you are, but go hand him the phone. Go hand him the phone. You sitting up there watching with your weak Who in the are you anyway? Um, I'm, 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 that's my wife he with. He with my wife. You must be old Because if you was one of them big old yoked up black one of got on this Who does that? You sitting up there watching them at the park. I'm telling you, now I'm whooping that when I see her. I'm whooping your wife. Then I'm whooping Jason. And I'm a slap your calling me with this. You sitting up there calling me, got my blood pressure sky high while you sitting up there watching my husband with your wife. You supposed to be all on top of that. Okay. Yeah, when I see you got that coming too, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna find this Langley Park right now. I'm gonna get off the phone because I'll be up there. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, you're okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody want to talk to you. Give him the phone. Hello. Hello, who is this? This Tommy. Tommy who? His nephew Tommy. 
from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband Jason got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> this is some. <laughs> you almost made me have my baby here from this house this morning. <laughs> And I got two more months to go. Yo, Jason got me to pray for God. <laughs> he know better than that sh I'm whooping anyway when he come on. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, he okay. told me, say, look, man, my wife is a no nonsense. She ain't, she don't take no drama. None of that. He told that don't me. That no sense because I was like, what man sit there and watch their wife at the park? <laughs> what what man does that? This is crazy. But you tell him, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, I got to ask you this, baby. One more thing. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How you doing? I'm looking for uh, Sister Tanya. This is Sister Tanya. Sister Tanya, this is Brother Fuller from the church. How are you? Oh, I'm well, Brother Fuller. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Sister, Sister Tanya, has any of the... Praise dancers um, before they became praise dancers was 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 any of them strippers? I, I beg your pardon. Was any of the praise dancers that at the church that you have uh, uh, on the praise team right now was any of them strippers in the past? I'm sorry, sir. I don't I don't really know who you are, um, and I don't really understand this line of questioning. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm Brother Fuller. I don't think we've met. But uh, I, like I said, I've been elected to give you a call. Now, now it, it, it seems like what happened is this past week when you all actually uh, danced, it, 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 it seemed like a couple of the girls was actually uh, gyrating during the praise routine. Say what? Gyrating. Brother Fuller, I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you saw. None of my girls were gyrating. They were dancing for the Lord. Well, some, some, and I think some, if you look through your Lord's eye, perhaps you would see them better, instead of maybe you were looking through the gyrating eye. No, no. Well, see, some of these girls, a couple of, a couple of these girls, we can point them out. A couple of them have uh, uh, strip girl tendencies, evidently, because some of them have been gyrating. Strip, 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 strip girl tendencies. You know what? Sir, uh, I think we need to uh, complete this call. Perhaps I need to call Bishop and speak to him myself because, you know, I don't know what you do all day, but I have a real job, and I'm sitting here holding a conversation in my office about gyrating strippers in the church. Are you kidding me? Ma'am, listen, listen. Now, now here's a couple other things that, that they're talking about. The, some of the girls' uh, feet are real ashy when you all are performing, and they want to see if maybe you can you – can, I don't know. Maybe I don't know if y'all need the grip or whatever that y'all don't y'all don't put lotion on. I, we're not sure what that is. Um, as well as the the the, the, uh, the toenail polish. Everybody has three, four, five different designs and everything. Is it any way y'all can be in unison with your toenail polish? But the most important thing is the gyrating doing the dance routine. I don't know what your feet look like. I don't need you calling me, talking to me about my girls, their feet, their nail polish. Perhaps your mind should be on Jesus instead of on them. How about that? Oh, you know, man, I, for no, my no, mind no, no, no. to be. I don't have time. I don't have time. It's, I don't, I don't it's know what your for my mind is. to be on Jesus when somebody's shaking their butt at the church. Now, that, that's the problem. You know what? Look, I'm at work. Now, I'm trying to keep a work tone. You're going to make me curse up here. Now, let me tell you something. Don't call me anymore. I will deal with Pastor. If he has something to say with me, he can say it to me personally. But I'm done with this conversation. Are you going to deal with the gyrating is what we want to know. Maybe, you know what, it, it, it just hit me. Maybe you one of the ones that's doing the gyrating. I, look, let me tell you something. My girls ain't doing no damn gyrating, and neither am I. Now, I am done with this conversation. Do you understand you, me? But, but listen. I'm done. Are you done with the done. gyrating? That's done. what we want to stop. So we, can, we can't praise the Lord if the boot is just shaking. You know what? Sir, look, I, I got to go to work. I got to go. Now, I, I, again, I don't know what your issue is. It sounds to me like you have an issue with gyrating booties. I have not heard so much gyrating booties in one conversation in my entire life. Now, my mind is set on Jesus. I don't know what your mind is set on. Well, Sister Tanya, before you was the praise dance, uh, uh, oh, 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 a ministry, over the ministry, did, did you ever used to strip? No, I didn't do no stripping. Now, did your wife do any stripping? Uh, what? Did your mama do any stripping? What, what did you? Wait you a minute, what, You heard what I said. You heard what, how you like when somebody called you and asked you if your mama did some stripping? How you like that? 
I got All you. I'm sa- you know what I want to know? When is the next rehearsal? That way I can come and pick out who it is that's doing no, no, this no, no, tarot. No, no, no. You don't have you don't have any business at my rehearsal. I don't want to see you at my rehearsal. I don't want to I don't want to see any parts of you in my rehearsal. If I see you near one of my girls, I swear I'm coming up to you myself. Do you understand me? We well, need to find out who's doing that job. You don't need so to find out a damn thing. You need to stay your butt in your own house. Well, and, and, and I'm glad y'all ain't dancing when the when the when the plate is being passed because ain't no telling how you act with them wands coming through that. You know what? That's it. That's it. You call me disrespecting me. I'm at work. I can't even handle this anymore. You know what? Don't call me no more. Don't look at my girls no more. Matter of fact, come near the church and see what I got for you. I want to know is you going to stop the job rating? When oh, is no, you going to stop do a damn from thing. moving? That's, I'm not going to do a damn know. thing. Who do you think you're talking to like that? You're supposed to be a, a minister. I'm talking to leader. you. And I'm done listening to you. Now I'm getting ready to go. Well, I got one more thing to say to you before you leave. Now you ain't got a damn thing to say to me. I said I was done. And I said I got one more thing to say is you listen. You know what, man? Get off my phone. I'm going to say it anyway. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your entire praise ministry congregation, all your girls, got me to prank phone call you. Oh, I'm a shitty. <laughs> For real? Oh, <laughs> Oh. oh, they got me cursing on the radio. Oh, hey, oh, oh, which one was it? Ooh. Oh, you know what? It was all of them. Mm. I talked about mm. five of them. Now I got some explaining this. Oh. oh, Lord, have mercy. You uh, did good, though. You did real. You hung in there. Oh, wait till I talk to Bishop. Uh, you, you might want to call ooh, Bishop a hip Oh, I think I'm going to have it. <laughs> Hey, I got one thing to ask you, Tanya. What's what that? is the baddest radio show in the land? Nobody else but the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> now. What is this call regarding? Why are you calling me? Your check that you wrote for 250 dollars baby, what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? You got to hold on Hello. a minute, okay? All Hello? right. I got your phone. I'll give your wife a call. Hello? Hello? All right? right now, you're inebriated, sir. Okay? Right now, I should be taking you in, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You let me, if Hello? she's able to come and pick you up, I'll let her come get you. All right? Hello? Officer Brian is going to Officer Brian's gonna put you in his squad car. I'm going to call your wife. I, I've, I've got the phone dialing now. All right? Okay. Hello? 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 Who is this? Hello, who am, I, who am I speaking with, please? Who is this? This is Officer Daniels. Uh, Officer Daniels, you just called from, it, this is my husband's number. Who is, the, uh, who is Officer Daniels? I am Officer Daniels, ma'am. Your, your husband's actually been pulled over, and he's been, uh, actually, he's in uh, another officer's car. He's, uh, he's a little bit inebriated here, and we're trying to see about getting him picked up. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. You, you got my husband. Uh, yeah, I, what I got here on the driver's license is, uh, Kenny, Kenny. And he's with you now. He's actually in Officer Brian's, uh, squad car right now. So, uh, he was actually, uh, bobbing and weaving out on the road and we pulled him over. He's not creating any problems. The young lady wasn't creating any problems. So what we're trying, what we're trying to do is get somebody to come and pick him up. You don't have my husband because my husband is at work. So he can't be in no Officer Brian or in your car. And, and okay. we, back up. Did you say, tell me again, did you say somebody's with Kenny? There, is, there was a young lady in the car, man. We're actually letting her go because she's not inebriated. Oh. Uh, oh, from oh, the looks oh, of it, somebody, she's calling somebody to, to pick her up now. Man, so. no, no, no I, I can't believe this. <laughs> Kenny, I know that dirty son <laughs> got nobody in my car. That's my car. And you said that he had, tell me this, officer, tell me this. Look at that and tell me what she looked like. It better not be that Better not be the one I think she is. I have no idea exactly. Excuse me, ma'am. I know. Ma'am, what, what exactly is your name? About in my car, he's supposed to be working. I'm mm-hmm. sorry? Jazz? Jasmine. Okay. You're Jasmine. Okay. No, just Come stay there. We'll, we'll talk to you in a moment. It was, it, her name is Jasmine. I'm not yes, sure yes, who yes. she is okay. in relation to Katie, yeah. but... Keep him well, there. We, keep, keep it, yeah, hold him there till I get there. I'm on my way. I'm on my way right now. Hey, Bridget, I want you to watch these children for me until I get back. I'm going to see if I can give me a ride up to the truck stop, and I'll be All back right. in a minute. Okay, ma'am, listen, I can't I can't stay here too much longer. I can, I can stay here maybe another 15, 20 minutes. Somebody come get the car. And, but I got to keep moving here. I'm just trying to do a favor and not take this guy in. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. 
I'm on my way. I got my purse in my hand. I'm on my way to that truck stop. Please don't take that nowhere because I got something for his And when I get there, I hope like hell it ain't that that's been calling me with me all through the night. Leave her there till I get there because I got some things that I need to take care of this day. Don't move the squad car till I get there. I'm on my way right now. Right now. I'll be there in a minute. I swear that took my car and picked up that today. We done had arguments over this. It better not be that. It better not. I bet you it better not be her. It better not be her. I'm on my way. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be okay, there. Okay. Keep that till I get there. Okay. Well, do you know, there's a guy that was with Kenny. Let me close my door so you can hear me better, man. Uh, yeah, there was okay. another gentleman that was in the back seat of the car that was uh, riding with Kenny and the young lady. I don't give a about no other riding with Kenny. You just make sure he's there when I get there. Okay, okay. Now, do you know who this other gentleman, do you know uh, 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 Nephew Tommy? I don't care about no Nephew nephew Tommy. <laughs> nephew Tommy. <laughs> Cynthia. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Your husband, Kenny, got me to prank phone call you. Man, f- <laughs> you got to, you got to, you, you and Kenny can kiss so let me tell you what was just going to happen to Kenny, Nephew Tommy. I was going to go down to Bankhead in 285 and f- <laughs> and tell him when he get home, he still going to f- <laughs> Oh. Oh, my God. You all right? Oh, my God. Now, nah, I'm a chick. Where you at, Tom? <laughs> oh, man. He told me, he said, man, my wife don't play. He said, I call my know. wife, man, and prank my wife. You all right, Cynthia? I'm good, Tommy. I'm good. I'm good. But what <laughs> for real, though? He did work. No, he didn't work. He didn't work. He work. He in your car at work. He works. You better be at work. <laughs> Hey, baby, tell me this. What's the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach, uh, uh, is this Phyllis? Yes, it is. Who am I speaking to? Hi, Phyllis. This is this is John down at the job. I work out here with Clem, your husband, Clem. Clem? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. How are you? I'm good. He slipped and fell today. What? And uh, he hurt himself. Uh, uh, he got leaves a little shaken up here at the job. So what happened? What do you? What do you? What happened? Well, I, I think he, he 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 definitely pulled something in his back. But, okay. Uh, we um. Now, now, who are you now? I'm his wife. I'm I'm his wife, Phyllis. You're 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 Phyllis. That's right. That's correct. Okay, because we got listed that his wife is Janice, and we tried to call her earlier, but we didn't get yes, an answer. I'm his wife. So I'm his wife. I don't know who, who Janice. Who the hell is Janice? Janice is who he has listed for a contact when he, when uh when it's emergency contact or something should happen. No, so. y'all must you know y'all got that mixed up. Y'all must have mixed that up somehow. He wouldn't have put no no damn Janice as his wife. I'm his wife, Billy. So I don't know who who messed up, but that ain't right. I'm the wife. Okay, well, it has her listed as the wife and call her as a, as a contact if something goes wrong. Well, I don't know what to tell you because I'm his wife. Now, I don't, I don't know who messed up. Hold, hold, yeah, hold, hold, hold on one second. Let me let me click over one second. Another call coming. Yeah. Just give me one second. That's some Janice on the doggone. What the hell? Okay, that was Janice. What? She said she'll, she's going to come out to the job, so you don't have to worry no, about coming to get it. No, hold up. No, I'm coming out to the job. I'm his wife. I don't know who no Janice is, but y'all need to get it straight because I'm his well, wife. Well, she said so she's going she's gonna, to she's, she she's come and take him to the doctor. No, she ain't taking so him no where, sir. I'm his wife. I'm taking him. Y'all, you don't let, you don't release my husband to no body. I'm his freaking wife. So y'all need well, to take y'all uh, out. The, Janice says she'll be right here in 10 minutes, well, man. I guess right. I bet y'all be there in 10 minutes, too, and I bet y'all better not release my husband to nobody. I'm his wife. I don't know who no Janice is, but y'all need to get that straight. I'm on my what way. You, you tell Janice if she beat me there, to hold up, sister. 
produce some marriage certificate papers or something. They'll tell her to produce that. I got the papers on that man. Okay, well, I'm just saying, uh, Janice is, she, he does have her on the list, ma'am, so I can not really. What do you have on the list, sir? I don't give a what's on the list. Well, why, why would she have her name man. on the list, ma'am? Why would her name be above your name on the list? You know what? I'm not going to play this little ring around the rosy with you. I got papers on that man, so you better best, best, I best hold up until I get there in case y'all want some more problems. I'm going to release him to Janice as soon as she gets there. You? Sir, you better not release my husband and no body. All y'all must be laid out on the floor. So I'm going to tell you right now, if my husband ain't there when I get there, it's going to be some full-blown going down. So you best just wait till I get there. This is a bunch of bullshit, but it's going to end when I get there. I'm all on her way. I got to hang up with you. I ain't got time to play with you either. So I'm on my way because she going to answer for this. Janice might get a beat down and your going to get the business if my husband ain't there. Oh, oh, you hear oh, me? Oh. You hear? I, I hear you. I hear you, ma'am. I, I, I ain't got time to be going back and forth with you playing ring around the road. I'm a grown ass woman. I got you to go. I seem like I got some business to take care of over there. Okay, well, well what am I supposed to do with Janice? Like I said, you tell that to hold the up. I'm on my way. She's trying to represent like she me. That trying to be me. Okay, then what do you want me to tell her? She ain't wife. It might be okay, like what do you want me to, what, what do you what do you want me to tell Tommy? Who Tommy? I don't even know no Tommy. Who Tommy? That's me, baby. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband oh. Slimmit got me to prank phone call you. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all foolish. Okay, y'all are foolish. <laughs> I'm looking for all your Hold on. You, you, you tell me you stay your ass over there. I ain't got time to be playing with y'all like this. I've got no time to get my work done. I'm looking for all y'all Hey, I got one more thing to ask you, baby. What's for the what? baddest radio What's the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey boy in the show. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Mr. Paul, please. Call Virginia Senior. Probably senior. Okay, this is me. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, my name is Mark. I'm actually calling from a uh, company called Doors. Are, are, are you at Are you at Court? Yes, correct. You guys just built that home, right? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm I, like I said. My name is Mark Stevens. I'm actually calling from a uh, Doors. We're actually the company that uh, supplied the doors that are actually uh, throughout your house. Okay, great. Uh, what are you calling for? Follow up. Uh, no, this isn't a follow-up. Actually, we've uh, got a couple glitches we want to try and get, get straightened out if we could. Uh, well, here's here's the problem, sir. The problem we're having is that the contractor that actually uh, built you all's home yes. uh, has not paid for the doors. You guys have been there two and a half months, and uh, we, we can't seem to get the uh, contractor to come in and pay for the doors. Okay, uh, so you try to call them. We've tried to call him several times, and, okay. and we have not been able to what get What number uh, do you have on him? Because if you don't have a good number, I can give you a number. Because I, I really don't have anything to do with that. In fact, how did you get my number? Well, actually, we had your number on file as, as the homeowner, and, and that's pretty much how we had you. But the problem we're facing here, sir, is we've tried to get this guy for the last couple months, and we can't get him. So actually what's what's going to happen here in the next day or so is we're probably going to have to come and get all the doors. Hold on, wait a second. Do what? We're, we're probably going to have to come and get all the doors in your house, take them off, and bring them back here to the plant until who, we who, get. Who's going to come get all my doors? We we're going to have to get those doors until either we get a contractor or you know we get paid for the doors. Now, what could happen is you could pay for the doors. No, no, no. I already paid for the doors. That's 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 past tense. I've done that. Paid. You saying paying? That means I got to double back. Well, sir, we haven't been paid, sir, for the doors as well. No, no, no. The contractor was paid for the doors. So that's who pays you. Okay. And and what I'm trying to explain to you, sir, we haven't been paid at all here at Doors. Now, when oh, we get paid, oh, oh. Okay. Well, at Doors, they should have received a check from my contract. Okay. And, and what I'm explaining to you, sir, is that that hasn't been done. So since you have not been paid, you're going to come back and get my doors. Now, you said we. Now, who's all this? You and who are me? Going to come Sir, to my like, like, here's the problem here. Like no, I no, said, no, there ain't no problem. We're going we're gonna to resolve this very peacefully. 
But who who is we? Okay. So what's taking place here at my job is they've taken this money out of my check that hasn't been paid for the doors. Oh yes. I can understand that, but why would they take it out of your check? You did the man hours. You did, you've done your work. Why I don't understand that, sir. But since the company hasn't been paid, the company is taking it out on me, and it's not going to come down on me. So either I'm going to get the doors. Well, you need to quit your job because they because they need to give you a uh, not just give you a bonus, but give you some hourly work. Because bottom line is, you talking about coming to get my doors? No, that's not going to happen. Either we resolve this peacefully as if you pay for it, or I come out and get the doors. And I'm not finna sit here and go back and well, forth. Yeah, you need to go ahead and come get these doors. Gas up. And come get these doors, because you're not going to come and get I'm not going to send you no money. Okay. Sir, then, then then what we need to do is get a scheduled time where I can come out and get all the oh, doors. So I'm on your up. time. I'm sorry? I'm on your time now. So you got you must be paying me now since I'm on your time. What are you talking about? Because uh, well, you're talking about you're going to set up a time with me. That means I have to leave and do what I do to be meet you here to get something that don't belong to you, which is my door. Sir, you don't have to be there at all. Because oh, I'm going oh, no, to come here. in and take the front door off, and I'm going to keep keep moving through the house and get all the doors and get them back here to the plant. I don't think you hear yourself. Now, first and foremost, how you when you come to the front door, I'm going to be there waiting on you as you as you. Take it off the latch, I'm going to be on your behind making sure you realize you're going to have to take this door or take this And I'm, think, I'm pretty sure that will have been coming to you when you get that first door. Sir, I can't keep going back and forth with you. Let me say this to you. I'm coming to get them doors, even if I got to take a whooping, because I got to get my money back from the company that they took from me, because your damn contractor did not pay for the damn doors. Hey, you better hey, bring your, your tone down when you talk to me. You talk to a girl. Man, I, I'm going to put this on you. I am not going to allow you to come to my house and take these damn doors, and you ain't coming to get no money. Bottom I'm line. coming to get them doors, and I'm coming to get them today. I need every come on door. Now. What time are you coming? Because I want to be prepared when you come mess with these doors. Because I, I, I make sure, please, what, what time are you coming? Don't, don't worry about when I'm coming. You'll know when I'm there when I take the first door off the hinge. Every door, we going to meet at that door. I'm going to that and tell you what, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you a dollar Whooping. Now take that check. You can make ten seventy five. Whooping or not, I'm gonna take that whooping if that's what it takes. But I gotta take these doors so I can get my I money back. I need man. you to do. Next time, get your damn money. Stop. Get a job that pays you better for this whooping. You gonna get in fed well. I'm not, listen, sir. I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you about you whooping my. You gotta go back and forth. That is the end. Bring your over here. Take that whooping and take it on home. I'm take, but I'm bringing them doors yeah. too. Every door yeah. in that house. Yeah. Contractor. You should have been called a contractor. You should have been called a contractor. Y'all over there stealing doors from, door from, from my damn company. Well, now I'm telling you what you need to be calling them. He got your I'm money. I'm coming to get every door you got in that Bring house. Bring me that number. I'll tell you what, you know what I'll do? I'll just wait yeah. till you go to work. Bring, Bring me the number right week, now. I'll just come in there and get them doors while Bring your ass is gone. Right here, Junior? Oh, wait, wait a second. Now, I just told you, you ain't coming to get no doors. I just got you telling you this. Junior, get it from your mama. Bring I'm coming to get them doors, and you know what else I'm coming to do? What? I'm coming to tell you who I am. You Do you know who I am? Yeah, more f***ing, so I know who you are, so you want your f*** up here, I make sure I introduce myself. You want to come get a f***ing door, where the f*** come get these doors then, if you're that bad? That ain't, that ain't really who I am. Well, who are you? I am Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got prank phone call by your wife, Faye. Hey, that's why that's why she bring the damn number. Oh, you gonna get it when I get downstairs. <laughs> oh, brother, you got me. You know I'm a I'm a typical Negro. I got one of the red doors. You know when you get them red doors, you doing something. <laughs> oh man. Hey man, I gotta ask you, man, Paul, what is what is the baddest and I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Oh. The Harvard <laughs> show. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Mr. B please. Who's this? Miss B this is Jackson. I'm the driver, man. I'm uh, actually the delivery guy that's bringing you refrigerator over today. Uh, okay, what's going on? Okay, listen, I know we had a window that was from 8 to 12 this morning. It's, mm-hmm. let's see, it's 11.30 now. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, we're running a little bit behind schedule, man. We had some problems at the yard getting everything uh, loaded up. Oh, man, come on, man. You killing me. I can't. Y'all, so y'all running behind. We're a little bit behind schedule, man. We're gonna have, we, we'll be there somewhere between 12 and 4. Man, y'all got to do better than that now. Man, I'm, I'm with my job. I, I understand, sir. I understand. I, actually, it's... it's. I, I got all, man, I got all my food in here and, and uh, coolers and stuff. Man, I got ice everywhere, man. Come 
So, so you, I mean, what's what, what's what's going on? If y'all ain't got the refrigerator, I'm trying to figure no, out. No, no, we loaded up. You know, we just had some problems. I think one of the forklifts went out. And, you know, we it, it kind of pushed us back. So that four-hour window we had from 8 to 12, man, just got ruined. And now we're pushing things from uh, 12 to 4. So between 12 and 4, man, we would definitely be there. Man, y'all have to do better than that. Cool. Is, uh, I spoke to L- yesterday. L- he's actually the uh, warehouse supervisor. He's actually out today. He's not here. So he's not in. So, so yeah, man, God, I'm supposed to be oh. at work at 1 o'clock. You said y'all ain't going to be here till in between 12 and 4. I'm supposed to be at work at 1 o'clock. I understand it, man. I, I, I greatly apologize, man. It, 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 this rarely happens, and it just so happened this morning the forklift was down, and we had a lot of stuff to load up. You know, we got, right. I got 10 refrigerators on this truck, man, and one of them's definitely yours, sir, so I'm definitely going to be getting it to you as soon as I can. Man, y'all so, so, so Man, y'all pushing it because I'm supposed to be at work, and then I, I, I done scheduled everything else around this because I'm supposed to, you know, I got to have my refrigerator because I got all my food and stuff sitting in here in, in, in the kitchen and, okay. and, and whatnot. You're, so, you're, you're, so your I, I your refrigerator went out? Did it go? Your refrigerator went out? Is that what happened? Yeah, sir. It so did. I mean, I hadn't had it for quite some time, so it, you know, so it's just a matter of time for for it go out. So I decided oh. to go ahead and get a new one. You know, right. So that's why. I was well, now I can schedule. You, I can schedule you next week sometime if you want me to. You you get, no, but, no, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I can't. I can't afford it. I just, we're gonna pay for this food that I got in here all over the floor. Let me let me get the hustler man. See if I can move as quick as I can. But twelve to four is the window, man. I, I like I said, I apologize, Mister. But we'll be there, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be there with your refrigerator today, okay? Okay, so so when you when you on your way, how about I want you to call me and let me know that you're on your way so I know what's going on. We don't know we don't normally call when we're on our way. We just come on in and get things set up. What you, what you mean you don't call? Why the f- not? You just called me just now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you I did. Call me then. Make no sense. Okay, like I said, the problem is on us. Man, I'll give you a call when we en route, okay? Mm-hmm, okay, I appreciate that. Now you said twelve. You said between twelve and four. Now. Yeah, yes, sir. Between twelve and four, we definitely be there. We got you on the truck, man. Okay, I'm next. I don't want. I don't want no mess, man. No, no, we got you. We got you. We'll see you in a minute, man. All right. Take care. Mm-hmm. Hello. Uh, Mr. Who is this? This is Jackson again, the delivery guy, man, with the refrigerator. Well, what's what, yes. Listen, Mr. Baptiste, man, we run into a few more problems here, man. It looks like we oh, probably not gonna get that refrigerator out till tomorrow, sometime. You, uh, you said, hold on, you, you said what? We run into a few more problems, man. It looks like we probably not gonna get that refrigerator out till tomorrow, you sometime. You done ran into a few more problems. A few more problems like what? Sir, we got some problems with some, uh, um, some more deliveries. We got uh, just with all the deliveries we got, it just don't seem we're gonna make it on your side of town to be able to get this thing oh, taken. You're get- not gonna make it on my side of town. What kind of is that? You. So- you just you decide you want to take my money when I pay for the when I pay for, the, but you gonna tell me you don't have, you ain't gonna make it on my side of town. Well, we can definitely get out there tomorrow, man. We definitely can get tomorrow, out there tomorrow. I, I can't. I, you, I can't have my situation out here tomorrow. I got chicken and beef and uh and, and, and brisket and all over here in my throat, and you gonna tell me you can't make it in here till tomorrow? What kind of is that, huh? Elvin, sir, you, sir, you, you 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 ain't got no answer for me on that, sir. I understand. No, no, no. no I don't. I don't think you understand, I, son. Because this, I got shit, I got food and ice sitting in here and cool as a all over my floor in my kitchen. You gonna tell me that I did just you can't make it in here till tomorrow with my with my uh, with my refrigerator because because you 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 y'all in on the back around. Now where is no. I told the yesterday? Now where that where is? I know you spoke to Larry. Like- I told him yesterday I had to have my at work at one o'clock. I told him that. I said that you gotta okay. have that refrigerator here on time because I gotta have my. Edward. Well, like Edward. I said, we've had some setbacks. So, where, where is I don't talk to you no more. Where is like, like I said, sir, not working today. He's, he's not, not He's not in today. He, so, he's, so he's who not. in charge? Well, actually, the lady named one that's actually in charge of when Larry leaves, but uh, I don't even know if I saw him on. Oh, but, but. You raggedy. You. What are y'all doing over there? Now, when I spoke there, we're going to have it there. It was between and 8 I, and 12. I, I, I done took out my job but y'all had a refrigerator here i'm here at home I, I, and now you call me back and you sir all i me. can tell you is we're gonna be there tomorrow okay i'm not gonna go back and forth you, you say you're not gonna I'm, go back no, gonna... you know you know what we was you refrigerator all of y'all you take that refrigerator and you think that refrigerator up your up and up i don't want to no more i can go around and put this food in my neighbor's refrigerator and i'm gonna go give me another from somewhere else because you Playing around, I ain't got time for your mess. Sir, I don't know if I, I don't know if that's refundable. I, you don't know if you it's know what refundable. I mean? What the f- do you mean you don't know if it's refundable? You got time. You gonna take my money and you gonna tell me that I can't have my money back and you, you can't get my refrigerator on here on time? Sir, sir, uh, uh, listen. There's one more thing I, I need know, to talk to you. You ain't got a f- 
thing to say to me because I don't uh, want to sir, I, no more. I, okay, but I have one more thing I need to tell you, okay? Are you listening? What? This will probably help everything. What? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to fix her. So, but where they have my refrigerator? That's what I want to know. I tell you what, they showed up their refrigerator. I showed up so they where they can put it. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Miss Diane, please. Uh, she's not in at the moment. May I take a message, please? My name is John. John, I'm actually the funeral director here at the funeral home. Miss Diane came in earlier today, and, and uh, she's she filled out some paperwork here, and I wanted to make sure I got everything actually correct. I don't know if she wants Rob or or Robert. Are, are you are you one of the members that may be able to tell me exactly what she would want on the Oh, 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 oh. I am. I, I'm Robert. I'm, what's, this, what's this all about? She came here this morning. What, 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 what you talking about? Okay, hold on a second, sir. You, you're who? I am Robert. Rob, Robert, that's me. Okay, and okay, is, is there... I'm a senior or, or, or... Well, Junior's just a child. I'm Robin Senior. That's who I am. Junior's a child. Okay. Neither one of us did. We're healthy. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Oh, my God. All right. I don't... Okay. Hang on a second, sir. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah. Diane, I'm, I'm, Miss, I'm Miss, Miss Diane, Miss, sir, Miss Diane is your wife? Yeah, Diane is my wife. You sure you got the right Diane? You sure? Oh, uh, sure well, well she, right she, she, she came in uh, this morning... Uh, maybe five five. Uh, what mm -hmm. salt and pepper hair, shoulder mm -hmm. length. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe a medium brown complexion. Mhm. Mm what, what kind of car she was she driving? Did you see the car? Did you see the car or something? Uh, it seemed like it was a uh some type of uh was it a Camry, Camry I think. Yeah, that's her. And what? I mean, what happened? Tell me, actually, tell me what happened this morning. She came in and said what to you? She came in this. Mr. Why, 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 why don't I call back when Miss Diane is there uh, and we can don't call back. You know, tell me now, right now. I need to know what the is going on. You, my wife, want to tell me she want to have a funeral for me, and you want to tell me you want to call me. Let her know. Tell me now, sir. All I know is, is, is Miss Diane came in. The paperwork was a little. I was just coming reevaluating you know, what I what I what I, what, I, what, I, what was written here. It wasn't right. I mean, she came in. She she picked out the casket. She did everything that she was supposed to. Casket, casket, bro, bro, this right here, bro. I don't understand. I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm gonna find out later on. I'm gonna find Sir, out. I, 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 I don't understand. I, I've, I've never been in a, I've never been in a situation like this. Okay, so you about to get in a situation. Maybe I need to call back when Miss Diane gets there. Man, okay, I said I need to talk to you now. She get here at six o'clock. Don't worry about that. Where you at anyway? What's your name again? Where you at? I'm, 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 I'm John. Sir, I'm the I'm the uh, funeral home uh -huh. director. I'm sorry. Y'all, yeah. you, you might be you might be making some funeral arrangements for her too. I might need to switch names and put her name on there. Okay, sir. But guess what? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Sir, sir. Six o'clock. You gonna be sir, there? Sir, a, a, a funeral yeah, is a very yeah. serious thing, sir. Mm -hmm. So you you're, Man, you're so serious, bro. Look, you, my wife is coming. She trying to bury me. Me. I'm Rob. What name you got on the paper? Rob, uh, yeah, right? it's, 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 it's Rob or Robert, whichever one. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't. I, I mean, I, I won't. I don't want. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. We ain't even been beefing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even arguing. We had a little light <laughs> argument last week by a little light bill, some little <laughs> like that. But <laughs> you gonna have a funeral for me? Okay, man, it's gonna make no <laughs> sense. I tell you like this, uh, they got the right <laughs> now. You got the right one. I tell you, man, I'm not. Uh, watch, watch sir, what sir, happened. Mr. 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 Can yeah, I, can yeah. I, can I, I mean, since I have you on the phone, is it, is, can I ask you what? what? Is, is it all right if I ask you something, sir? Man, what the you want to ask me, bro? I mean, since since it is your funeral, would you would you like the light blue lining or the white lining in, inside the, on the inside? Oh, of oh, come on, cast? you play with me, right? Now you now you trying me. Now if I come down there and swing on your, you won't like it. There's gonna be two funerals. You and her. Keep on now. You gonna pick your own. Oh, oh, man, I'm out here busting my right here. 12 hour shift. All I said, I'll cut a little bit of the lights off around here. I'm gonna keep the bill out. But you would say, huh, oh, around here. Oh, sir, sir. Hello, hello, be, hello, sir. But three lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on. Now, a funeral? Come on, man. Mr. 
boy, I swear to God, this okay, is... okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I tell you what else your wife told me when she was here? What? What else she told you? Yeah, I need to know. Anyway, I need to know. Tell me. Go ahead, tell me. Well, she told me to tell you exactly who I was. What? Who is you? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Who are you, sir? You're the funeral director. I'm not. Yeah, okay. I'm not John. I'm not John from the funeral home. You better be. You better tell me you nobody else. Not no. No, 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 another. You talking about the funeral? This is. This right here is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Diane got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Hello, Mister. <laughs> boy. I swear, y'all ain't, y'all ain't. Tommy boy, boy. <laughs> Y'all play too much, man. Y'all need to stop playing on people's phones, man. Oh, for real, man. Y'all need to cut this shit out. Tell that to you. I say, hey, man, look at him, bro. Big Daddy need a suit, man. Say, I'm 58. I need all that. I need all that shoes, shop, hat, all that. All right, man. I'm, uh, hat, do that. Uh, hey, let me ask you, Mr. Little. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey. Morning show. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs>